They're breeding, they're breeding. <laughs> Started to snow, sort of rain thing. I don't know, but we're in the in Luss on the lo on the side of Loch Lomond, and the views a moment ago were quite good, but a bit shit now because <laughs> of the rain and the snow. weather's starting to improve but if you look over there it's still a bit foggy and wet we're on Lusp here having a wee mooch about Wi-Fi here shite <laughs> phone signals are terrible oh blinded but yeah it's, you have to if you're in this area and look Lomond you have to come to Lusk uh, we're gonna go try and find the coffee shop that I know is around here here's one's bound to be uh, we'll do that we'll get a coffee if it's nice in a bit, might throw the drone over here. We'll see, because the weather just keeps changing. I don't want to get the drone wrecked. So, catch you in a bit. It's about zero degrees, minus two, something like that at the minute. But we've just done a stop off, uh, just to take in the views. I haven't seen snow all year, I had to drive to get some. It's been fantastic. Just look at the views, unbelievable. Van is doing fantastic on these hills. Not overheating, nothing. Absolutely perfect. Running like a dream. This is just a quick stop. We're on our way to Ben Nevis. Uh, not to climb the bloody thing, just to have a look at it from the ground. But judging by these roads, I'd say we're gonna get a really good view of it. But yeah, I am blown away by these views. It's just fantastic. Let's get back in the van. There she is, oil leak. Wife's working from inside. <laughs> it's all running sweet. See you in a bit. All right, confession. I fucked this up. I filmed it all out of sequence. I've just been filming bits and pieces because it's all a bit higgledy piggledy. But we started the journey with getting the van ready and then we went to Blackpool. Here's a little bit of footage from there. Having been to Blackpool, we then went to see family in Glasgow and then we've been to a place called Luss, which was what you saw at the beginning. And then we went to another place in Loch Lomond, which was just wet and shitty. Look at the footage here. It was just snowing. And now we're in Ben Nevis, which is over there. I'll show you. So the problem with Ben Nevis is, in winter, it's really wet and cold and freezing. Uh, yesterday was heavy snow, today it's just wind and rain. So we've pretty much just been working in the van lockdown. We're doing half days, me and my wife. So we finish in about an hour's time and then we're gonna head on and find somewhere new to stay. Probably the Isle of Skye, which will be in the next bit of footage or in the next episode, we'll see. See, I've gotta get all this editing done. It's a bit of a mess, so apologies on that. Ben Nevis. The Ben Nevis Inn, beautiful food, great service. Um, they don't do a Guinness, but they do a, like a locally a dark gold drink. Beautiful, really uh, irony. No, I don't know. I don't know what words to use for food. I'm not a food critic, but it was really nice. The van's holding up really well. Got a back door issue, won't open, won't lock. But after, so I've had to take the panel off to just to open it up manually from the back. But we're never really doing that anyway. The Jackery 1000, Fantastic bit of kit. Both of our laptops are running off that at the moment. My split charge relay, which I did have a problem with at the beginning, needed tightening up because it wasn't charging the ledger battery, but it just must've worked itself loose. So we just, I got a voltmeter tester in Darlington and we did a, I did a fault check just to where the power wasn't getting through. Worked it back. It was actually the back of the split charge relay. Undone that, tightened it all up. Works a dream. So I'm running the van now just to demist the windows charge up its own internal battery and then i'm going to run the uh, jackery off it as well get that charged up so when we're driving the jackery charges up off my marine panel um, and that's running at about 78 78 watts yeah 78 watts anyway i'm going to bugger off get back to the van and sort all that out and then we're going to move on so enjoy the films we're on our way to the isle of sky and I just had to pull in. It is absolutely lashing down. I'm taking shelter behind the van. Just in the rain and the mist. 
you're just like that can't be real but look at this there's a dam down there but look at this it's so scary driving because some of the areas there's no verge and it's literally like if you're not paying attention you're dead it's as simple as that there's no signal up there there's no signal up here anyway so it's not like you're going to be sending a text or anything but seriously if you fuck this up with lack of concentration you're dead it's lit it's just drops i'm not even joking you this is not too bad i tried to pull in here quick but i couldn't just so many potholes on this little uh, parking verge this is what i love about scotland on these roads as well they have thought this out they thought right let's put some pull in places let people get out and take some photographs right the, the lens is getting soaking i'll talk to you in a bit we're on our way to isla sky see you soon <laughs> Not sure how much of this you'll hear because of the wind and it's about to rain again. We're in Portree on the Isle of Skye. Stayed here last night. Couldn't find that toilet that I'm showing you now, but we found it during the daytime. There's a hose pipe there as well. So you can wash your porta potty out if you want to, but it's not drinking water. So don't, don't be tempted. Beautiful spot, very quiet. There's only four bays. So be sure that you're uh, in that slot at night. Download the app on the, uh, on the what you would call it on the pay and display machine it's far easier uh, you don't need coins then you can pay through um you can't pay through apple pay but you can pay through a credit card and it's a free download on the app store there's only four slots as i said they're very tight make sure you're in them don't cross the line apparently the uh, parking attendants here are quite vicious and also i was looking reading on the reviews don't try the fish and chips in town. Apparently they're gopping. But anyway, it's a beautiful spot. Really enjoyed it here. And then we're gonna wind this one up and start another episode as we head north towards John O'Groats. See you then. Love you.